Hello YouTube, Nostalgia Gamer here. Just wanted to do an updated video today on my Ubiquity Home Lab. Uh, I got some criticism last time on how I kind of presented things, so I wanted to kind of clear things up. And I've actually redone uh, some of my rack and added some new servers. So I just wanted to go over kind of everything here. Tell me what you think, tell me what things you would change. And, uh, you know, we'll just go from there. So this is a StarTech 25U rack. I know before I said 42, so uh, must be dyslexic. I got the numbers mixed up. So it's a 24, 25U rack uh, that I have. Absolutely love it. I probably wouldn't go anything bigger um, in that respect, but I absolutely love it. You know, just a standard four, four open post. So just going into the details here, I've got this little Pencom, little light that I use. I use this at night. Uh, when I need to, you know, just make sure everything's monitoring, uh, you know, just for lighting if, if I need to work on something. But I like it. Pretty cool. Uh, this is a Ubiquity. Uh, this is a 24 port, 1 gig switch. It's got the 10 gig uplink on it. Um, I do like having that on there. So I also have a 48 port, 1 gig if I need more. But I've been making it work with 24 ports so far. Um, I've got a... Uh, ubiquity router here. I have been using some of these one gig ports. I know it's one gig shared, but these are to my lab downstairs that has all my older Windows 95, Windows 98 machines on there that are just connected to some old neck gear switches. So I use these two ports. Don't really care about bandwidth too much. Uh, below that is my 10 gig aggregation switch. I do use 10 gig on some of my servers. So it's nice to have a couple of those since uh, they do have standard SFP built in. So I do have that on there. Uh, this is my Ubiquity UNVR. Right now I'm running 8, eight terabyte on RAID 1. Um, I do have several Ubiquity cameras, a couple bullet cameras, some G4, G5s that I use throughout the house. So those are just backed up in RAID 1. Don't really need feel a need right now to use all four bays. A gig works just for me fine. Below that, I have a Ubiquiti um, RPS that's connected to my switch, my router, and my UNVR. So I have a little bit of uh, redundancy in case things uh, go south with the power. Again, it's a home lab, so the worst case scenario is I lose camera and internet. Below that, uh, that's my Arias SB8200. That's my one gig modem. Uh, I've got one. Uh, I've got one gig down, 250 up. Absolutely love it. I actually thought this thing was going to go out, but it's been standing its ground, so love it. Below that, that's next to that. That's my uh, Hughes. I use that for all my uh, Hughes lights in the house. I've got some light strips, things like that. Absolutely love it. Uh, next to that is my Western Digital MyCloud Pro. It's a 16 terabyte RAID 5. Um, that's my primary NAS that I use for things such as Plex and my file server backup. I used to use separate servers, but I mean, 12 gigs is more than enough for my, my Plex and my file chair. So, like that guy. Below that, this is my, kind of my favorite one. This is a Dell R630. Now, I've had 630, 40, 700s, and 800s. I'm not really a fan of the big four U's. I don't need them. One user just fine. They're dual. This is a dual core 256 gig RAM. Uh, this one kind of runs split. I'm running, uh, I'm running uh, four SSDs, RAID 5, and then the others are just SAS 1.2s on RAID 5. Um, this server will uh, be running Proxmox. I'm actually switching to Proxmox from Hyper-V. I really love it. I'm getting used to the whole Debian uh, Linux thing. Um, but Proxmox actually serves me a lot better um, in terms of easy use. And I just like the functionality. I can do LXC containers that are a lot easier. Uh, this is a Intel NUC 13, 13th gen. This is an i7. It's got a 1 terabyte SSD or 1 terabyte NVMe. And then I got a 2 gig SSD. This is my main, uh, this runs Proxmox. It's got my Windows 11. PIA for my torrents. It's got several uh, Proxmox containers. I've got Pi-hole. I've got Uptime Kuma. I've got Squid for my forward proxy. 
Um, I've got um, a couple forward, or I've got a couple other containers on here, but I really like this thing. It's low power, so that kind of took the place of the R630 for running everything. Um, two terabytes was more than enough, but love running that. Just a single gig connection on that. Below that, that's my R340. This is a three and a half. This is a uh, this is a 32 terabyte uh, drive. I used to run this for Plex, but I switched over to my NAS. So still trying to figure out what I want to do with this guy. It's going to be running Proxmox. I'm probably going to run, be running three PVs, three PVE servers. So just got to figure out what I want to do. This is just my uh, remote uh, management system for my power supply, and then. This is actually brand new. I just bought this. This is another R630XL. These are just 1.2 gig SAS running RAID 5. So I got this for like 300 bucks minus the drive. So uh, this is a dual core 256 gig RAM. It's got two SFPs, two 1 gigs. So I couldn't say resist that. Brand new in the box. Rails, SFPs, everything. These are my Buffaloes. These are my primary backups. They're off right now. Just give them a little rest. The top one is my primary, it's a 32 terabyte RAID 5. That's backup for everything, it's my photos. Um, all the important stuff is basically on that one. Below that's a 16 terabyte RAID 5 Buffalo, that's the backup for the 32. So it doesn't back up everything, but things that are really critical that I don't wanna store in the cloud, I can set that up. Uh, then I have another server here, this is my R4, or R34, or excuse me, T340. This is a just a single core, but this has got a lot of storage. These are all 8 gigs on here. So I've got, what, 32, 64 terabytes on this bad boy. I used to use this for Plex. This was way back before I started the whole Ubiquity thing. So it's just kind of sitting out of right now. It's got two 1 gigs and a 10 gig on there. But that's, uh, that's the heavy-duty one if I ever need any big, big storage. So obviously storage is not an issue. I've got a... Couple power supply backups here, and then uh, you know I try to keep things clean. These are just a couple for everything that's running the house, and then I got another backup back there. And so, yep, there's my home lab. I'm, I know I mentioned before I'm going to do another video on setting everything up, so I just got to get the capture and everything up. But just wanted to do a quick tour, and uh, we'll make in the next video. I've got a Packard Bell that I recently purchased. I know I did a boot up on my gateway, but I got a Packard Bell that I'm gonna do and a couple other ones here as soon as I get some time. All right, thanks everyone, have a good day.